Well, you must think I'm nuts, because if you look outside and see what a glorious day it is, you're wondering what the devil I'm doing. Stoking this fire, but I love the ambience, and I'm having manuhiri, and I'm cooking up a storm, and boy, come on, come in and see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm in the Greek islands. Check that view out, it is simply stunning. E hara ko enei kararehe anake kei pākari i te rānei. Ko Tyra Hammond me Jeremy Toy o te Rōpū Open Souls, e tahi kei te haere mai ki te tīna. I'm going to cook my tamuri here. We're going to have one each and I'm going to cook it simply on the weber. I've got this gorgeous eye fillet from the Neat Meat Company. There's some white bait over there from the Whakatane River and some organic eggs I'm going to combine them with. I've got this beautiful array of produce from the Matakana and Takapuna markets and our dessert today is just simply going to be something I'm going to do with those apples and that Calvados liqueur. Ko ai hoki e kore e mōhi o ki tēnei kairangatira. Well, I'm sure you've worked it out by now that I like to start off with something light and delectable. And today I'm starting off with this gorgeous white bait from the Whakatane River where I hail from. And every time I see those nets go out, I'm down there. And look what I've got today. Now this is a very, very easy dish. It's all over in a flash. And don't cook it until your guests get to your home. So the first thing I need to do is get these eggs into my bowl here and whisk it up. I'm going to do a two egg omelette today. One is fine. Whisk that up. And I find it easier to make an omelette in a non-stick pan. Whisk that up onto the heat here, and a little bit of oil. Oil the pan very well, like this. Grease it up. Chuck your egg into the pan like this. If you've got a little sizzle going on, that's how it should be. And then just pop a few white bait. Enough for one per person. Once these bubbles appear around here, it's time to flip this over. Okay. Do the best you can. I nearly flipped it over completely, but it doesn't matter. Now, if your pan is lightweight like mine is today, just be careful that you don't burn the underside of it. Turn the heat down a little. And that's cooked. It's all ready. Get it off there. Look, perfect. Pop this here. And I'll make another one. So this one I'll flip over. There we go. Put that third one on here. Just going to put a bit of lamb's lettuce on here for a bit of a garnish. Throw a bit of my coriander leaves over the top. Squeeze a bit of lime juice over the top of it. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on too. And just going to glaze it 
Put a little bit of a shine on with my Olive Ends Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And there we go, just to kick off with, gorgeous Inanga omelette for my guests. So here we are in the Greek islands. No, we're not. We're in beautiful Aotearoa, New Zealand. As I said, I'm cooking these fish Mediterranean style. Simply as possible, I'm just going to put a little slice here, three slices that helps cook them evenly, both sides, and I'm going to stuff it inside with these lovely bits and bobs. Kalamata olives here, very Greek. Bit of dill and a little bit of mint. So into that cavity like that. Put some salt in there as well and salt in the grooves here. We'll do that for every single one. And then brush it over, lots of oil. And then chuck it on the Weber here. And we're just gonna cook that very, very, very slowly. So while this is cooking, I'm going back to the kitchen to prepare a lovely Mediterranean salad to go with our fish, but I'm going to come back out and flip this over when it's time. Simplicity and divine flavour is what my cooking's all about. I'm almost getting embarrassed because it's so simple. It's only taken me a few seconds to get this dish together. Here are all my ingredients. It is over in a flash, so do keep watching. I've got some lovely young wild rocket here, put on my plate. And all it is, my dish, is just a matter of assembling these gorgeous, fresh produce that you can get anywhere. Attractively put things on the plate, like so. Cut some tomatoes up, throw them on board. There's nothing to it. A few of these, cucumber onto the plate. Cut up a bit of garlic. All these flavors are synonymous with Mediterranean cooking, Greek in particular. It's lovely pepper here. Chuck a few olives on, the Kalamata olives here. A few capers, very important, the feta. Put it on the plate. A few mint sprigs. Cut up some of this parsley, go over the top. Cut up a bit of spring onion in there as well. Throw that on, oops, not that big one. And I'll also cut over some chives. Now you can dress the salad with vijou, but today I'm just going to cut these limes in half, douse this over the top, Throw these anchovies on the top like this and then dress it with the best olive oil you've got in the house. And there we go. A little bit of salt, pepper. That's just perfect to go with our fish today. Hello. Oh, I am. Oh, Hello. Hi. 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 Yes, cheers, and thank you very much for coming today. Oh, cheers. Yes. Thank you for having cheers. us. <laughs> I feel so privileged. Oh. So do you like white bait? I've never actually tried it, Have so... 
first time for everything. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> this nice. is a bomb. I'm a little bit like, why haven't I eaten it before? You learn something. I just get put off by the eyes, <laughs> by the little eyes they had. I just get oh? put off. Close your eyes. But, uh, close, close your eyes. eyes. Close your That's eyes good. and think of, uh, yeah, no, England. Of, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back into the kitchen. Okay. And get the next course. You two carry on mm. there. Me. And, um, and I'll be back. Awesome. Eagerly awesome. waiting. It's going to be insanely <laughs> epic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new saying, eh? It is. Maybe every time you drive me crazy, mad, frustrated, I want to cry. And when I try to make you see my way. Kei roto i te waiata te kaha o taira, pēnei iau, kei roto i te kīni. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't oh, like yum. those heads, don't worry. <laughs> I'll attack them later. <laughs> Sweet. Tuck in. Yum. Yeah. How do you get into yeah. a whole fish? Just start at the tail bit and just, just come away from it like that. My fish is perfect. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so is look mine. Look at that. Okay. Well, I wish my nana cooked fish like this. Mmm. <laughs> This is the bomb, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this mm. is cooked perfectly. It's amazing. Aue, he ua me nuku marika kiroto. Pick up your plates, grab your glass, come with me. Me. He kai kore taia te huri tuara. Ko tēnei miti tētahi tino kai kia. Now I've had this kuma in the oven, it's almost cooked, and I'm going to put a couple of carrots at three, because there's the three of us. Take off the outer skin, throw this eggplant on here and that, and throw it back into the oven. The eggplant and the carrot won't take too long to cook, and because the kumara is almost cooked, it'll all come out of the oven ready at the same time. So I've popped them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and I'm going to get on to the next part of this dish. This is my pan here. I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into it. Cut off a few medallions for us. I think a couple each will be nice. That size will do. Make sure the pan is absolutely hot because you want these eye fillets to sear in there like this. Now these are only going to take a few minutes. And look, there you go. It's actually only been a minute and it's ready to turn over. And remember, you only turn steak once. While this is cooking, into the steamer over here, I'm going to put my organic silver beet in there. Pop it in there. Pop a little salt in there and put the lid on. And this will only take a couple of minutes as well. I'm going to take these steaks off here because they're ready. We don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to put them in the warmth of my oven drawer. And into the pan here, I'm just going to throw some garlic, cloves here. Throw a few tomatoes in here. I'm just going to throw them in whole. And I think my eye fillet's going to be really tasty if I put some more anchovies on the top. So throw a few of those in too. And 
a bit of the sauce that's going to go over my eye fillet steaks. These are ready out of the oven. I'm going to cut these up like this. Look how gorgeous that kumara is. It is beautiful. I'm going to put it into a bowl and give it a quick mash. Peel all that off. Like so. And this other one. So these haven't taken long in the oven at all. Now I've cooked this eggplant like this because what eggplant does is it soaks up all the oil. Only going to pop the oil on now so it's a lot healthier for us. Now I've put these carrots in here and they're ready. Look, they're cooked without any oil. I'm going to put the oil on now. Remember that we're all about health, longevity. We want to live forever. We want to be as healthy as we can be all our lives. Look at that yummy anchovy. Juice going all over those. And then douse that eggplant and carrot in that. With that, and then with the silver beet and mash kumara, I'm going to put them underneath. How simple is that? The goddess is coming with the meals. Oh! oh. oh. What's this? Here we go. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> cheers to the chef. Yeah, cheers oh, to the chef. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us that Paris story, yeah. hun. A group of us had just been to the Eiffel Tower and we did the big double-decker thing where we went to all the hot spots and stuff and it was amazing. And then we're like, oh, let's get something, you know that we can read and that we felt like. And I just wanted a hamburger. And so we get there and they're like, hamburger, and it was so much. And I was like, oh, yum, I'll just get it. And I go, oh, excuse me, can we get some cheese with that? No, no cheese. Oh, OK, weirdo, you know. And then anyways, <laughs> I get my meal and like, it was just like the patty, like that. And then some lettuce and tomato and chips, and it was a hamburger. See, that is the story. It wasn't even the thing, <laughs> but I was like, where's the buns? And then I asked them, I was like, oh, sorry, I think you forgot my bread. They're like, no, that's how it comes. And I was like, this is not a hamburger. You are doing false advertising. Keep eating, guys. I'm going on back to the kitchen. Are you leaving I'm us? I'm going to go and do a quick dessert. Oh. And when I come back, you would have finished and... Um, you can give me another little water. Another one, maybe. I we love can do your a songs. Piece. I love your yes, sounds. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So lovely. So. <laughs> can I have those? Yeah, you can have oh. them. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's enough today. I'm just going to do a nice, sweet treat to finish off with. So on with the pan here. It's as simple as anything. See this palm sugar here? I've grated it up already into the pan. Like that. All for speedy sake, too. A little bit of water to go with it. Tip that in there. We're just making a little bit of a syrup. Get that syrup up. And I'm just going to put these apples in here. And cook them up. Put a squeeze of fresh lime into the apples here. A few cloves. Why not? Those apples are New Zealand Pacific Rose. They are 
in season now and they're absolutely sweet and delicious. As soon as those apples are soft, you can throw a bit of Calvados into it. Give it a bit of a flame and it is ready to go. Now the apple is cooked, it's been on for about five minutes now. It's cooked in that syrup. Watch out you don't burn it at this point. I'm going to throw a little bit of this Calvados into it. Now Calvados is like, woo wee! Pork and puha to us Māori. Calvados and apples go together just like that. Put a bit of lime zest over the top there. Turn that off, that's all ready. And we have a lovely, gooey treat for us after all that gorgeous food we've had today. So oh, yeah. <laughs> watch out for those little cloves, you won't want to eat, eat them. How come? Oh, they'll, they'll be a bit tough on your teeth, Oh, huh? yum. What what is my this? uncle told me an interesting story about cloves. Yeah. Just what the other day, because we were eating a ham, and it had the cloves, and I said, don't touch the cloves. And he said, it's good for, you can anaesthetise your tongue or your teeth if you've got toothache. It's the second time I've heard that in 24 and hours. And I didn't know that, so I tried it and it worked. Did <laughs> <laughs> it really? Oh, well. So if you've got a toothache, well. yum. Yeah, that's good, yum. eh? That's nice, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Well, you could have chucked some creamy stuff with it, but... Nah. Nah, it's nice like this. Yeah. Eh? Keep it's it simple. It's just perfect. Oh, yum. It's been so wonderful having you here today. Honestly. Thank you very much, and I love your music. I think you're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming up. Thank and you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> Beautiful food. Awesome. <laughs> well, Jeremy and Tyra, I'm going to ask you to sing me a waiata. And um, as soon as you've had the next mouthful, Tyra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any requests? Well, why not from your second album? This song doesn't have a um, title, so maybe you can think about it. your album. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. If that's a, a sample of it, it's <laughs> going to go brilliantly. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves on Kai Order today. We have. <laughs> <laughs>
So until next week, kia ora from kai ora and hei ko nei rā. I'm hope... moving in. <laughs> Call up my flatmate, I'm moving out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next to you, I want to hold you close. And when those times